Hey, it's Lisa and Scott DeBoer on an episode of In Seconds University. We're going to be talking about um, some other cool ways to use our uh, In Seconds products. So, in this one, we have our we call Creamy Patrick. If you have any mannequins that are the same size as any of our scenarios, the nice thing that when you take, let's say, a newborn scenario, like number one, for example, and you want to put in an IV trainer, if you happen to have, we named this one Baby Violet, if you wanted to do an IV trainer and set that up along with it, as long as the, the mannequin measures the same size as the scenario. So if you're gonna measure with the Braswell tape, red to the head, head to the heel, if you want them to do that tactile skill, then they're going to be able to use the same mannequin and then you don't need our board. However, if you don't want to do it that way and you don't have any of the fancy mannequins but you want to do a, a very simple tactile skill for your students, for example, let's talk about an umbilical line. And so we do something where you can see that Premi Patrick has his umbilical cord clamped. Well, there are lots of different kinds of trainers out there for umbilical lines that you can use. And that was why I asked Scott to come on this episode so that he could um, talk briefly because we just had somebody donate um, some actual human umbilical. Um, and so we're gonna talk about what you can do with this if somebody were to potentially donate some for your uh, for your school and how you need to preserve this in order to be able to use it. So Scott, can you just talk a little bit about that? Because I know you've been using um, human umbilical cords in our labs for years. So how do you get them to stay so good and how can uh, an educator do this? Sure. So as Lisa touched on, when it comes to practice umbilical cords, there's both loads of trainers out there. You've got ones that are attached to the mannequins. Very commonly though, from various manufacturers, you can buy just the fake umbilical cords. And you can buy them a couple inches long, cut them into pieces, put them in the top of a baby bottle with a cut off nipple. Put a little bit of fake blood or even easier, what we find is something amazing called crystallite. Yes. And you just put a little bit of fruit punch in water, you now have fake blood. And that really fast, I want to interject that, and very important, if you're doing this, make sure that you're not using the scoopable sh the sugar Kool-Aid because it will make a mess of your mannequins and you will end up with ants. So be sure if you're using, if you're not using any of the prepared um, blood products that they actually sell, uh, be sure that it's sugar free. So wanted to throw that in. Not that that ever happened around here before, but you know, just in case. Hypothetically. Hypothetically. But if you want fake blood, again, <laughs> crystal light Kool Aid water. And this works is great. Crystal light. Now, the other option that Lisa touched on is if you happen to work somewhere where they're nice enough to actually donate human umbilical cords, absolutely amazing, unparalleled in your experience. They're going to give them in some sort of an unbreakable cup, typically initially preserved in just saline. However, as Lisa touched on, these umbilical cords you notice here in our plastic box are actually 15 plus years old. When we initially put them in formaldehyde for seven days, everything's dead. And after that, simply email us and we can provide the information as to where we get our formaldehyde from. And more importantly is once it's fixed with formaldehyde, you can rinse the heck out of them with saline to get rid of the formaldehyde. And then there's this really neat liquid that you can order that will keep them preserved. It doesn't stink, it doesn't cause cancer. And you can go ahead, we'll also show you if you're interested, where you can get these unbreakable baby bottles from which is where we go ahead and keep our umbilical cords for over 15 years, happily floating and very much usable in. So again, just some really cool ideas of some things you can do to enhance our scenarios in seconds. And depending on what the scenario is, be as creative as you want the things that you want to add to it. So thanks for being here, Scott, and we'll see you on another episode of In Seconds University. See you next time. Well, the scenario in seconds is, is awesome. Um, it was uh, uh, the first time that I experienced it. Uh, was I, I was blown away, just absolutely blown away by not only the simplicity of it, but how easy it was to learn from it. We all know that you don't take care of that many kids. So what you don't do frequently, you have to rehearse much more frequently. This makes it easy. You don't have to get a whole lot of equipment together or have a formally 
uh, accredited instructor or any of a number of other things that you might have to do in other circumstances. This, set it up in five minutes, take however much time you can with however large a group you have, whether it's just one person or whether it's a whole classroom full. Um, it's gonna work for you. If you're ready to take your students to the next level and boost their confidence when caring for sick kids, don't delay because children's lives are depending on you today.